Jesus, I'm blind. <laughs> Hello pretties, I'm Ember Witch, and this is called After Dreams. Now, from what I've seen on Steam, this is an exploration game that dwells into the big question of humanity. Um, of humanity's, you know, whole thing about purpose of life and all that. And that is, what happens after we die? Or hap what happens when we die, rather? So, I have no clue what to expect, which is usual, because unless it's a big game, I try to play blind. I don't like to try to watch people play it, but I haven't seen anyone play this. I could be wrong. But we are going to start a new game. Jesus, I'm blind. We're out in the desert. Looks like Arizona or something. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm by myself. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay. We're, we're off to it. Wait, can I move? No, I can't- I can't move. But they're coming, so it's okay. We're gonna be good. Well, never mind, they drove off. Hello? Phone's ringing. No telemarketers. If it's a bill collector, I don't know you. Is someone giving me money? I'll take it. So the therapist suggested recording the things I've wanted to say to you since you left. So, uh, what did it feel like when you died? Whoa. Okay, we just sunk through the- Oh, okay. Alright. We're back in the blindness. Alright. So, I don't know whether it's heaven or hell. All I know is it's bright. If you believe in any of that, actually. Oh, never mind. They ain't looking good for us so far. So, that person said that- Oh. That person said that they were recording, like, they want to know what it was like when we died. So that might have been a spouse, that might have been a brother, a friend. Java, not now, I'm getting tired of your shit. Go away. Thank you. Oh, there's something glowing over there. Let's see what it is. It's a big pile of me not getting into that. Oh, well. Maybe I have to. Oh, oh, sweet. Jesus. Okay. So, this is Arizona at nighttime. <laughs> oh, God. I hope my sister doesn't ever watch this. It's taking us our very lovely, sweet time. Oh, there's trees. So, is this like tree afterlife too or and how and how do how do i get oh oh okay we're gonna that's a little steep okay but you know but then again why do i care we're dead so <sighs> oh i um went out to that, uh, the pond we like to go to today. Uh, it, it just feels so empty without you. Jessica, I, God, I can't do this. 
Hmm. So would this be like a representation of the pond? That you guys used to go to? It looks like it. Can I get in the water? Nope, I can't get in. Alright. Uh, I am guessing that we gotta go to this big place in the distance, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's something else over there, and there... Alright, there's, not, there's nothing out there, so we're gonna go this way. I see a fence or something. Am I mucking through quicksand? Like, spiritual, ethereal quicksand? Okay. There's something down there, so... Let's see what we can do. <sighs> that jump scared the mess out of me, but then again, we're dead, so... <laughs> what is it gonna do? Oh, there's another tape! Yes! Just, uh... Whatever you do, Jessica, don't think this is your fault. It isn't. We... But know that we all miss you. We... character's name is Jessica, and that's my brother. My dad is apparently taking it hard. You know, whenever... Like, no one ever really thinks of these things, and it's just mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling to think about where we would go, and so on and so forth, and there's so many religions and other faiths and beliefs of where we go, or lack thereof, or whatever, but it's just, in the end, we don't. It's just boggling. The driver was, um, released today. I just thought you'd want to know. Apparently the brake line snapped in his truck, and he just lost control. So, uh, mom's not pressing charges. Just thought that was important for you to know, I guess, and... Jessica? Jessica. I'm so sorry. It should have been me. It should have been me! Jessica, I'm so sorry. Wow. I have nothing. I'm just gonna keep going. The sky? Oh my god, no. Whoa! I, I'm I'm not in control anymore. The music 
is creeping me the fuck out. It's like before. Okay. Oh, okay, there's something right here. Okay, so the brother... I thought I heard something. But anyway. So the brother stopped talking to me now because he feels like I heard him, which I did, but hmm, let's see what this one is. from what I'm getting is there was a wreck you died the guy that hit you, you it was not intentional his brakes went out and then you're sort of stuck in this landscape just listening to your brother tell you about what's happening after you die about how your parents are acting and how his life is going and sort of sort of like isolating and something else at the same time. I don't know how to feel. It's like I can't help him. All I can do is just listen, really, because we we can't. You know, there's no way for me to help him. There's no way for me to get back to him. I'm in the next world and he's in the old one and wow. It's like you can't really do anything to help the person you care about. You're just sort of stuck listening and seeing what happens. Oh no. I never even wanted to be loved, Jess. Look at me, just a piece of shit. Nobody looks at me anymore, Jess. Nobody pays me any attention. Shit. You think I'm invisible? <sighs> invisible. <laughs> You'd know something about that, wouldn't you, Jess? I don't need nobody. I just don't need nobody. He's just spiraling. Holy hell. Alright, I'm gonna go all the way out there. The small little reddish brown dot all the way out there. Not in the valley, but further out. I'm gonna go there. Okay, this is new. just disappears. That's it. Poof. You no longer exist. Others think that 
life is just a sort of training period for what comes next. But the one I like the most says that when you die, you get to look after the rest of your family in a sort of a limbo while you wait for them to come with you. I like to think that you're there, listening and just waiting for me to come to you. Jessica, I still love you and I miss you. <laughs> okay, I do not think... Uh, okay. For one, I don't know whether he's my brother or he's... A, someone that just was an interest or what for one he said dad not my dad so that's why I think he's my brother and two he's just getting worse and worse and I feel like he's gonna do something crazy like he's gonna hurt himself or something but apparently I'm in this landscape waiting for my my family so we can all go together that's probably why I couldn't go through yet over there this is getting insane. So, my thing is, do you just get stuck wandering until you can finally have everybody together in one spot? And then, you know, it's like, okay, everybody's together, so we got our buddy, we can go to the afterlife? Like, what is it? It's so fucking intriguing. I miss you. So much. Nothing has been the same since that day. Jessica? Jessica, I need you to come back to me. Why? Why you? Oh god. Jessica. <laughs> well, there's a sailboat. Uh-oh, I don't like what this looks like. Oh god, is this- Oh no. Oh my god, Jess. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I just saw him. And I got Jess. I know you don't want me to. I just got so angry. And what did you do? Jess, I beat him. I beat him so hard. He's in the hospital. Mom had to come pay my bail. Shit. I know I'm better than that. I'm sorry. I... I, I just... I wanted to get him back. for killing you.
crap. This judgment? This, like, where I finally get to learn where I go? Thank you for your participation in our little experiment. Now that you have run our test to completion, you shall be purged from our system. Wait, I'm sensing some... confusion in you. Oh, you want to know what happens to your brother? Ah, child, like you, he is nothing but a collection of cleverly programmed bits and bytes. A fragment of our imagination, if you will. However, I do find a mental insistence endearing. Very well, I shall grant this last wish. Oh no. This is bad. No! Don't tell me he did it. Don't tell me he did it. I can't. I can't anymore. Just God or the world or whatever. It all hates me. I can't come. I, I can't deal with this anymore. <sighs> I'm coming, Jess. Oh my god, no. <sighs> I'm coming for you. The last remains of Pompeii burn I got about just returned To see the ashes covering the town You can make a game without doing all that And it's amazing but Yeah, just everything that your family goes through Vesuvius was growing colder Embers that had hardly smoldered, settled in to lifeless dust below. Everything that your family goes through, as you have to sit there and just blindly, well not blindly, but just listen to all of it go down, how your brother just spirals into a depression, how your parents got separated, how your mother can't make ends meet, how your brother ends up meeting the man that hit you in the wreck, even though he had no intention, he had nothing, it was a, it was a cut wire in his brakes or whatever it said, and just to see all that happen and you can't do a thing about it, it's just heart-wrenching, and the feelings that I had whenever our friend, my friend passed a few months ago, that's how I feel now, like it's so, you feel helpless, and you can feel the desperation in that character's voice. It's amazing, actually. And Matthew Boyer did an amazing job with this. And I want all of you to go play this and experience it for yourself because it is amazing what someone can do in a short amount of time with as little as they have, which I'm not dissing the graphics. The graphics are great. You know, for something that was not meant to be a triple A, you know, whatever, to be an indie game, this was fucking amazing. And I want all of you to go out there and give this guy support. So, and I hope he does a lot more games in the future. But, I'm gonna just leave it with this one bit of advice, and that is, live your life to the best of your ability, as if it was your last day every day. Because you never know when something might happen to you.
Make sure your loved ones know that you love them. Make sure your friends know you care for them. Make sure that you're happy with the life you live before you go, because <laughs> this can happen and you never know what you're leaving behind. And you can never really go back and tell them that you're okay. So, make amends. Don't ever go to bed angry, things like that. But I'm going to go, and I'll see all you pretties in the next video. Bye. <laughs>